Hello. Conditions in Python set number 3. Coming up is the next set of programs on condition. So, where are the programs? Here are the programs. So, we were going on, we were doing number 3, right? On number 3, we had enter the selling price of an alarm clock whose cost price is rupees 700. Print whether it incurred profit or loss. Also calculate and print the profit or loss value, whichever applicable. So let me show the program on the program screen because this program is not that program which is visible. Right? This program is some other program. If you pause the video and if you can link to which program is this one, then it will be your credit. Now I have to show you the program on question number 3. Here it is. Condition based calculation on CP and SP. Now note one thing. The cost price is given as 700. So, what I can do is, what I have done is, I have put 700 in a variable and I have named it CP. You know why? Because 700 is just a given value, but it is representing cost price. So, instead of directly using 700, it's better if I use it via a variable that represents what its work is. And uh, value of SP has not been given. So, I am taking SP as input. So, SP is coming from the user during runtime and CP has been provided in the question. So, then comes whether it uh, has incurred profit or loss. In order to test whether profit or loss has occurred, so I need to test. The comparison between SP and CP has to be done. So, here the condition says if SP is greater than CP, then P is equal to, that means profit has occurred. I have taken a variable named P in which I am storing the difference and I am printing incurred profit of rupees P. If it has not happened, that means if SP is less than CP, then the case will be of loss and the calculation will be a little different and the amount of loss will be like this. And if both of them has not happened, that means none of them has happened, then it should print no profit, no loss. So now it's my turn to show you the working output. Here comes the output screen and the sell price of the alarm clock. So what is the what is the expectation of the price? I am putting my choice. When you will run the program, you can put your choice. If I enter it as 800, let us see what will happen. Incurred profit of rupees 100. See how did it happen? Here, first, uh, the input statement enter sell price of the alarm clock. Uh, filled the value of SP with this variable. So this 800 came in and sat on SP. Then the comparison was done. And since 800 is more than 700, Therefore, this part took place. This part happened, which caused the output statement as input profit of rupees 100. Now, let me run it once again. If I run it once again and supply the value as say, say, say oh, 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 I have to keep the cursor here. And if I enter 500, you see the result is incurred loss because the first condition is not true, but the second condition of SP, which is 500, is less than 700 got it and if i run the program once more with the value of of say 700 what do you think will the output be let us check if you can match your output right so with this uh, mm, you, you run it on your own and check whether your answer matches with your expectation right coming up in the next video is the next code okay